Apple CarPlay demo Acura ILX 2016 to 2019 presented on Acura MDX. Acura ILX and Acura MDX have 100% identical screens. In this video, Apple CarPlay. Now press and hold the back button, press enter, and you're going to see the Apple CarPlay on the screen. Control with the joystick, you got all the apps, Google Maps over here, you got Waze, Tuner Radio, and all the other apps. You got many pages. In this video, Android Auto. Press and hold the back button, select with the joystick. Apple CarPlay Android Auto, hit enter and there you go, you got your Android Auto, all controlled with a factory joystick, just like 100% original, you can change all the features, go into the audio, open the menu by pushing left, closing by pushing right, going back to the maps, 100% original Android Auto. In this video, HDMI mirroring. HDMI mirroring demo, press and hold the back button. Go on to HDMI, select it, hit enter, and there you go. You have your Netflix. It says not playing on your TV. And you have the Netflix on the screen, or you can mirror the entire phone. Whatever you see on your phone will show here, iPhone and Android. This video is a two-part video. Part 1, operation of the interface. Part 2, installation of the interface. Naftool established 2002. See description below the video for product information. Must expand description section if watching this video on mobile device. This is a demo of iPhone Android smartphone mirroring with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plus 4 camera inputs. Interface compatible with Honda and Acura vehicles dual or single screen with or without factory joystick. This interface does not replace factory radio or factory screen. This interface enhances the factory screen with features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI mirroring and extra cameras. All factory features work as before. This interface is a see-through. The vehicle does not detect that the interface is installed in the car. This product is 100% designed and manufactured in the USA. Please support American jobs. This product is 100% automotive grade product. Apple CarPlay feature of the interface. Now let's test Apple CarPlay. Connect your phone. Apple CarPlay will appear on the phone. This is real CarPlay. You can press and hold the back button to switch. Then we can go, you see Apple CarPlay highlighted on the right hand side. We got Apple CarPlay logo. We know the CarPlay mode. You rotate to the CarPlay and you enter. Keep in mind, CarPlay only comes one way and one way only. It is inside your phone. CarPlay does not exist anywhere else. iPhone only exists inside your phone. All updates today or 20 years from now happen only inside your phone. You never have to worry about updating it. This hardware never have to be updated. As your phone updates with new apps, it will appear automatically here. In any car, CarPlay is the same. This CarPlay is same as it would be in 2018 Acura MDX. Same control with the joystick. So all the apps, everything works. You got Waze, you got Google Maps, you got everything. So tune in radio. For example, one of my favorite apps, hit enter, it's going to load up TuneIn Radio. Let's do local radio station. Obviously have to be an auxiliary. Press enter and it's going to load. And now we have the audio. All right, so you got the CarPlay on the screen, and you can control whatever apps you want. So if you want to go into podcast, the daily, and it's going to play whatever you have on the screen. So in this place, from the New York Times, pause, play. This pause, is the daily. Play. Pause. You can rotate to highlight other options. So skip, go back 30, skip forward. From the New York Times, I'm Michael Barbaro. This and then you can use daily. any other app with the audio playing. So we're not going to do that. Press back, back to go back. 
We got the phone. You can do the phone call and get your text messages, obviously. Everything is just like in any car. This is not some kind of mirroring this Apple CarPlay. You got your three recent apps here. So if you want to select TuneIn Radio, there you go. Uh, let's go check out uh, Waze. So we got the Waze application that we can enter. Let's go ahead and enter Waze. You got the Waze on the screen. Through the microphone you can say what you want to do or you can control on the screen because the interesting part is that when you're in the CarPlay mode with Waze, it gives you a special screen over here that lets you choose, um, uh, let's refocus the screen. So you actually get the menu on the screen other than that, you just enter destination and go. So this is CarPlay, just like any car. CarPlay can be operated two-way. Touchscreen with the joystick, same as 2018 MDX. This is exactly how the CarPlay works in 2018 MDX. You got all the same features. To get out, you rotate the joystick all the way to the home button over here. Enter and gets out of the home. You got the phone calls, obviously. You got your regular maps which are the Apple maps you got your um, Google maps so let's go ahead and enter Google maps and you got your Google maps you got settings you can do satellite maps if you want to you can get out of the satellite maps and the regular maps you can add destinations you know everything is basically here if you want to go to the phone, this is your recent. You can dial the phone number here if you really like. You can do 789-553-1212. And that's it. You can call anybody you want. You can go ahead and call. Hang up. If you go into recent here, so we here the top one shows you the app that is running right now, which is the phone. Then you can switch into the maps. And then if you want, again, so Google Maps are on top now. If you want to switch to Tuner Radio, change the station, you go to Tuner Radio. This is regular CarPlay. Whatever features you have from Apple, that's how it's going to work. We didn't invent anything new. That's all you get. That's all from Apple. So this is all HD quality image is original to the one in 2018 MDX or any other car with CarPlay. On the video you might not see but it's crisp HD image. All the apps see we got a bunch of apps. You obviously got Google Maps, bunch of radio apps. You got Waze of course, regular Apple Maps, text messages, phone calling. So this is CarPlay. CarPlay that's on your phone. So when our CarPlay is working we have the audio through auxiliary we can go ahead and use it and phone button Siri you install the microphone and you have the Siri in the car to get out of the CarPlay into the regular menu click return and it gets out of the CarPlay Android Auto feature of the interface now let's test Android Auto connect the Android phone once we connect the Android phone the Android Auto is going to come on the screen so we're going to go into Android Auto and Android Auto is putting up. In a second, Android Auto will appear on a screen. There you go. Now we have Android Auto. Same thing, all controls are factory. You need to get into this menu on the bottom, you press down. Now we're able to highlight, follow the highlight. Maps, calls, main menu. To get out, last one, press enter. One more time return to and it's going to rotate and it's going to return to the factory screen if you want to go back you go back now again we're on the factory screen if you got audio this is here but if you need to go to the down menu press down your audio apps are over here you need to open this for the menu so you go up to the left or press left radio press right to close press left to open press right to close press left to open go back 
go back you got your navigation maps you can select again press down go to the maps and you can use Google Maps or Android Auto depends on what you got so you can go ahead and enter the maps and if you press down the highlighters over here you can change between Google Maps and Waze so we're gonna stay in Google Maps and over here you got the search you got all the controls so on the left you get your maps to get out go to the right and follow the highlight wherever the gray highlight is that's what you get to select it's same as Android Auto in any other car such as such as 2018 Acura MDX you never have to worry about updates Android Auto is always updated inside the phone and in the phone only all the apps all the updates and again just like Android Auto in 2018 MDX or any other car with Android Auto controls with the joystick and you get all the controls we know Android Auto is working so we're good to go here HDMI mirroring feature of the interface. Now let's test HDMI input. You can connect anything to HDMI that is 720p or more. You can connect our mirroring device which is wireless for iPhone and Android. For Android we always recommend getting wireless device. For iPhone we recommend using Apple's own lighting to HDMI adapter. You're not inside the living room so you can nicely route the cable into the armrest area so it's not like across living room you have a cable it is nicely routed inside and you just plug in your phone and you have the mirroring let's test that let's connect our phone and let's see what we get on the screen so we're going to go ahead and connect the phone through HDMI cable and after we connect the phone it should appear on the screen there is no limit Netflix Hulu all video apps work without any limit so let's go ahead and get this working press and hold the back button you activate the interface and the standard is HDMI and four cameras the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is optional module that we pre-install inside the interface so it's all in one adapter but if it's grayed out which means either the cable is not connected or you didn't purchase the module but the HDMI will always be there let's go ahead and select HDMI click enter we have the YouTube here so the YouTube video plays so basically whatever you see on the phone screen you'll see identical on the car screen if we turn it, it's gonna be this way if we get out obviously it's going to be so whatever you see on the phone that's what you see on the car screen but there you go you got your 4k video keep in mind if you got the iPhone X any iPhone with a notch when you mirror even with Apple TV it will not be full screen so any phone with a notch that's how the video looks in mirroring even with Apple TV because we're mirroring we're not streaming the video we're doing the mirror image so that's how it works if you zoom in on the video right you see it makes the original and then it zoomed in to fill but otherwise it's gonna be full screen let me show you some other app like Netflix it's going to be full screen so let's switch to Netflix and when you see Netflix Netflix is going to be full as you can see on the screen when the video loads it's going to go ahead and be a full screen so the video is loading and you see it says now playing on your TV but the video is actually taken up entire full screen so you don't have any problems it's edge to edge and you can see beautiful HD everything is HD this is not analog input this is full high definition alright so we know our HDMI is working properly and after we test that you can connect any 720p device to the HDMI input you can do wire the wireless again Apple is preferred to be wired that's how Apple designed the phones and iPhone is wired preferred way route the cable nicely into your armrest or whatever you're going to have the interface sitting router in there for Android it's recommended wireless because most Androids don't have HDMI output camera feature of the interface camera testing 
left turn signal, left camera comes on. If you're not installing left camera with the turn signal, nothing will happen. So it will work as before. You will be on the factory screen, whatever is displayed here. Right camera, right camera turns on. If you're not installing right camera, nothing is going to happen. If you have a factory right view camera, you have a factory lane watch camera. Okay, we want to test reverse camera. In reverse, we got the factory reverse camera. And in drive, we got a front camera. The front camera automatically turns off after you reach the speed of 10 miles an hour. Okay, so we know all the cameras work. Cameras do remember the place where it was before. So which means if you're on the factory screen, you put the left camera on, you will have left camera. If you're on the interface, and let's say you inside the CarPlay, and you put the left camera on, it will go back to the CarPlay. If you put the right camera on, it will go back to the CarPlay. All right, next thing we want to test. To get out of the CarPlay, hit return. Cameras are working, but now you want to test manual operation. Let's say you're just driving and you want to watch the camera. So if you're driving and you want to watch the right camera, highlight the right camera, enter, and you drive at any speed, you will see right lane watch camera. You want to test left camera, enter, and as you drive, you can see left camera at all times. If you want to see forward camera, enter, and you will see the forward camera. For rear view camera, there's a way to rewire factory rear view camera, but we don't recommend doing it, or you can just add another camera if you want to watch the rear view camera while driving. But any other camera, you can watch while driving by rotating the joystick. You highlight the camera you want to be on. The green one shows the last selection. So, to get out, rotate once. Now, we know all the cameras are working, and we can continue to test the other stuff. Interface installation. Once we take everything out, all the screws, we're ready to take the radio out. This radio just comes out. Before we do that, let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? You got the main interface. On the interface, you have two connectors and the main connector. On the other side, you got USB which is used either for charging or if you purchased optional Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that is inside you will have an option once connecting Android phone or Apple phone to have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto HDMI input is in standard optional port and then you have your update port for micro USB status LEDs on the interface this is 100 percent made in the USA and the interface is 100% automotive grade. You have in the box an audio harness. So this is your audio harness. You're going to find the matching harness behind this radio. This is your audio. This is how you're going to hear audio either from Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or HDMI when mirroring the phone. You're going to find the matching harness. You're going to take the harness from in the back of the radio. You're going to plug it in here and then this connector goes back into the radio so whatever you unplug in here back into the radio you got this harness this is your connector that connects to the main harness that we supply you with we're gonna to get to that in a second this is the harness that allows you to do control of the Apple CarPlay Android Auto or the interface with a factory jog so it's this one so the factory jog that you have over here, that is the harness for this. It is also connected back of the radio. You're going to find the matching connector, unplug it, plug it in here, and then this connector is going to go back into the radio. And you got this little tee off that is going to connect to the main harness. And then you got the power connector. You're also going to find matching connector back of the radio. Plug it in here, and this goes back into the radio. And then the tee off connects to the main harness. The main harness has four camera inputs. These two wires you don't need to use. You got two audio RCAs so they connect together with the audio harness that we showed you just previously. You connect them together and that's how you're gonna hear audio. You got four camera inputs if you want to install additional cameras and this plugs in into the interface main connector. So just like this 
plug it in then this end connects to the main plug and play harness just like this so you got the interface obviously you're going to remove the zip tie to expand the harness but the main interface plug in the main harness plug and play power harness then you got the audio RCAs that you're going to connect together with the audio harness you're going to connect the RCAs together you're also going to plug in in here into the 4 pin connector an optional harness for the controller this is included to control the interface with the joystick so on the harness you have also this 4 pin connector and you're going to connect them together just like this and then you got two digital cables you're going to find matching cables one in the back of the radio one in the back of the screen you're going to plug in unplug the factory cable plug this in in the back of the screen unplug this and plug this into the back of the radio they are identical cables so it doesn't matter which one you use and then on the interface here you're going to connect them you got the middle one that connects to the screen side so you're going to take one of the two cables connect one cable to the screen side and then the second cable is the one that's to the radio side so previously you had one straight cable going from radio to the screen now it's going to be from radio into the interface and out to the screen and we're using all original connectors so it's same as factory and this is how everything is going to work now this radio we don't care about everything is going to work as before you're not going to lose any of the features so when you install this interface all factory features steering wheel controls all cameras everything you have factory will work as before we're only using this screen to display HDMI cameras or Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and we're using the joystick when in an interface mode when you activate it you're gonna use the joystick to control Apple CarPlay Android Auto or cameras once you deactivate the interface it's like factory the interface is see-through which means it's like nothing even installed in a car it's going to work 100 percent like original without any changes so now we need to go ahead take the interface connect it to Windows or Mac computer and program the software through micro USB using standard USB data cable make sure it's data cable and not a cable that's used to charge the phone it's a regular USB to micro USB interface can be programmed using Mac or Windows PC and an updater is available right on the website. Let's go ahead and program this interface. Do not forget to program the interface. All interfaces are stripped blank as they need to be configured by the installer or end user. Programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using Windows or Mac computer. Apple CarPlay update. The update process takes approximately two minutes. This is the software already open on the screen. Software is available for Windows and Mac based computers. Step one, download the updater. It takes approximately 30 seconds. Step two, open it. it. Takes one second. Step three, get a cable. USB to micro USB. USB end, you're gonna connect it to the computer. Micro USB end, you're going to connect into the interface. Then install appropriate software so just for the test purposes we're going to install Jeep Wrangler and hit install and the installation starts and the entire process is probably going to take right about 30 seconds and then after it's installed you basically do install it in the car and don't forget to set your dip switches in the video it's going to tell you whether they go, go up or down and the configuration entire configuration on Windows or Mac computer will take you no longer than two minutes that's everything that's downloading the software and installing so installing the software and then the last step is configuring which is self-explanatory it's everything is in plain English right we don't make it complicated there's no learning curve to this as you can see I hit search, I hit install, it's only one button. So there is no learning curve to use this.
it's basically all automated. It sits as 99%, right now that's gonna go away and it's gonna say, see, device completed, click close. And then the camera settings you can update. Again, this is all here in plain English. On the left hand side, you adjust cameras that you want to install if you're installing any. On the right hand side, you choose cameras that car is equipped with and then how do you want it to operate? Again, it's all in plain English. So if you're installing side cameras, there are three ways to operate them. Manual, manual with a speed check, manual without speed check. Everything is in plain English. Again, no learning curve. The whole update takes approximately one minute. You just have to tell the interface if you're gonna install any aftermarket camera and you gotta tell the interface if you have any of the factory cameras. You are completing your update and it took us about two minutes and 30 seconds for the entire process. Take it to the car and continue with the installation. Interface installation process. Okay, now that we programmed the interface, let's go ahead and remove the radio so we can access the connectors in the back and install the plug and play harness. Pull on the radio, the radio comes out. Now remember, you have connector here in the back, you gotta take it out. So this connector and on the bottom same thing you have one connector for this buttons right here take it out also all right that's the connector right here on the bottom pull the radio out it's easier if you have a friend to hold it or just drop it down a little bit like this we don't need anything more than that take one of the two supplied digital cables this cables right here take one of these cables and install it back of the radio Find the matching connector like this, but it's going to be gray. It's somewhere here in this area. All right. I've done a few, so I know exactly where it is. But it's going to be right on top over here in this row, right on top. Take this and plug it in again. You got two of this. It doesn't matter which one you connect first. They're both identical. So plug it in. The factory one you no longer need to use. So plug this in into the opening. Okay, now that we plug this in, we want to install the power harness. The power harness is located in the back. It's on this side all the way on the bottom. Take your power connector, which is this one, it's with the lock. Just, to, just so you know to open the factory one, this is how you open this one. You got the lock over here, you press on this tab and it opens up. So you press on this little tab, see right there, press on it and it opens up. You insert it and lock it. Then you got the factory connector, plug it in here. Second one, you take your second connector, plug it in here. The other end, plug back into the radio. So you install the plug and play harness behind the radio, everything is done. And now you got two ends that you need to connect to the main harness. Remove the zip tie to expand the main harness. Now that you expanded the main harness, we care about these two connectors at the end of the harness. One goes in here, second one goes in here. Okay, so now we're connected plug and play harness to the main harness. Now we want to connect the audio harness. So on the on that harness you just expanded, you got two audio RCAs. So you want the audio RCAs connected so you can hear audio. So you take the harness with audio RCAs. They're stereo. Take the harness. 
find the matching harness back of the radio and install it. The matching harness is located all the way in the middle, all the way in the bottom. So unplug the factory one, plug the factory in here, and then plug this one back into the radio. Now you want to connect the audio RCAs together with this audio RCAs. So connect the audio RCAs together. To connect the audio together, you might want to use something like this, like two jumper cables. Connect two here. And then you're going to go ahead and connect them into the interface harness. You got two RCAs, so you're going to connect white and red to the main harness that you're installing. We're also adding front, left, and right cameras. So you're going to connect your camera here. Factory camera will work as before without any changes. You don't want to do anything permanent. You want to connect everything, test that everything works to make sure you program and install everything properly. And then you make the beautifications and you close the car. But just like this, see how I installed everything? We're going to do the same thing and test everything. So we have the audio connected. Now we have the last cable left, the digital cable for the screen. So we want to access the back of the screen and connect the digital cable that is on the back of the screen. To do this, carefully put the stuff, let's say, to the right side and just put it behind for now. So we can place the radio back into its location and we're going to have everything sit on the right hand side for now while we test everything and then we're going to close and make everything nice so put everything on the right hand side let the radio sit and now what we want to do is we want to take out the screen let's go up to the screen and we're going to take the screen out and when we take the screen out on this side we're going to find a matching connector for this that we're going to unplug and install so go ahead and unplug this It's on this side of the screen. And once you unplug it, plug this one in. And then send the connector to the right side. Now that we have all the wiring installed, what we want to do is connect the interface. So take your interface and start doing the connections. So you got two cables. So the cable that is coming from the screen, this cable right here, we want to plug in into the middle one. The cable that is coming from this radio, we want to plug in into the one on the outside. The screen comes on even without the power connected. That's normal, that's a safety feature. So this way we know that everything works properly. And then you want to connect the main power cable. Interface will make a beep. And you should have two LEDs on. One solid and one flashing. Third one will come on when it identifies that HDMI is connected. So this is normal power. In order for the interface to work, this hut's supposed to be connected. Put it to the side. Okay, let's continue. Take your car joystick and connect the plug back. Now we just want to place it here temporarily just to test to make sure that everything works. We're not doing anything permanently. We're just putting it in place to see to make sure that everything works. All right, so here are the joystick controls. Initial interface testing. The joystick controls are as follows. Press and hold the back button. Controls the interface. In Siri, Siri in CarPlay, the phone button. Do selection, press enter. Back, to go back, press and hold. All right, let's look at all the controls. Now that we installed everything, we want to make sure everything works. Set the radio to auxiliary. Press and hold the back button. The interface will activate. With the joystick, you can select all your options. So, 
let's see what we got here rear camera is factory so we cannot select it obviously front camera front camera left camera left camera you can buy one with lines or without lines it is not adjusted it's just to show you can have a left camera and it's going to work automatic with turn signals if you don't install the left camera it's okay same thing right camera with different kind of lines cameras on the screen so when the camera works again it's not adjusted that just to show you that we can have the camera to get out of this you simply press back and it's going to get out and uh, actually sorry to get out you gotta rotate so if you're in the right camera rotate left camera rotate and it gets out HDMI we don't have anything connected yet but we know the interfaces works as long as we have the menu and over here we got Apple CarPlay and we can see the blue highlight so we know the interface is working let's start to test everything and then we're going to assemble the car properly go back to the beginning of the video for feature testing and operation after you test everything you can now start assembling the vehicle hiding all the wires hiding the module making everything nice so this way your car is all put together just like original hide the module behind the radio below the radio and enjoy the product removal of trim panels this is MDX disassembly it's similar to other vehicles we have instructions for other vehicles but it's pretty much all the same this panel just comes out using something like this just pop from one of the corners and this panel just comes out there's nothing holding it it's very simple in the back unplug one connector the blue one and remove it next step four screws remove the four screws behind the panel you got this panel over here on the bottom in the bottom of the radio behind the panel you got two screws that you need to loosen in order to remove the radio we already loosened I'm gonna show you so you remove this four screws and then if you loosen the screws on the bottom you will be able to remove the radio only then you will be able to remove the radio you see there's these two screws they need to be loosened so the radio can be pulled out if you do not loosen these two screws the radio will not pull out once you pull the radio out you need to remove two screws on top over here one and two so this panel can come out All right, this panel just pulls out you got two screws holding the screen one and two they also have to come out now very simple this one on top you need to remove this panel on top and it also comes out forward you okay nothing is holding the panel it just comes out there's one screw on top and you can release the screen to access the connector that's the entire disassembly so what do we have we have three screws holding the screen one two three all right so three screws are on the screen let's take a look in the reverse order we're going to reassemble three screws we're going to put back in place so these are three you remove three we're going to put back in so three screws two and one on top then the cover has to go back on top it kind of slides in so you just slide it in okay that's it and the cover slides in now this cover over here goes in here and two screws are holding it all right so you got one two screws so let's put those screws back into its place two screws in place now radio has to go back in Don't forget hazard switch and don't forget the air conditioning on the bottom and the radio goes back into its place okay four screws one two three four has to go back two screws on the bottom that you loosened before tighten them up and the last thing is the panel take the panel put it in and that's it your car is reassembled. This car can be reassembled and assembled many times together. Those clips are meant to be removed hundreds of times. You're finished.
make sure that everything works all the controls air condition everything else enjoy thank you for watching please click the logo on the left hand side to subscribe to the channel subscriptions work on smartphones tablets and computers please like the video please click the notification bell and please leave a comment about this video if you want to watch another video please click the video on the right hand side